Hello, I'm Davina from UsefulGraphicDesignTutorials.com. Many people want to take an object and turn it into a vector so that they can print it out on a t-shirt, a billboard, a poster or anything like that. And what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is a way not to vectorize, but maybe get somewhere as close as possible, um, particularly if you don't have um, Illustri Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to use Photoshop CS6 in the first instance, and then I'm going to move on to Inkscape. So we need a shape, and I'm going to use this photograph of a shell. The first thing to do is to make sure that the DPI is 300 dots per inch. So go up to image, down to image size. Actually, this is 480. So if I change it to 300, that's what we want. The next thing to do is make a quick selection and to do this I'm going to use the quick selection tool and I'm just going to go around it like that. Don't worry if it goes over because then I'm going to change to the lasso tool and I'm going to add this to it so hold shift and then just go around and it moves the marching ants. I want to get bring these marching ants in, so go to Alt or Option key on a Mac and do the same thing. Just come in and do it like that. Don't want to be too particular because I'm going to bring the ants in anyway. What I do need to do is duplicate this background layer because otherwise it won't work. Okay, so we've got that there. Um, I do want to refine the edge and that's why I've used CS6, although you could use GIMP if you wanted to. So I'm going to go up to refine edge and then I'm going to push it to smooth, as far over as smooth as possible and click OK. Just to make sure that I don't have any background, I'm going to go up to select, come to modify, and I'm going to contract it five pixels and what happens is the marching ants come in so there would be if I blew it up you can see there's a little bit of the outside of the shell not in. Okay so what we want to do now is to remove the shell from the background so it's up to select inverse and then click the delete or FN delete key in on a Mac. And what I would suggest you do is, well, we get rid of the marching ants, so it's Command D or Control D, and I would crop it because any program is going to assume that this is the size of your object and it will put it in, whereas we don't want the um, any of this if we can help it. So go to the crop tool and bring it in and crop it as tightly as possible. That should do it and press enter. I'm now going to get rid of this duplicate background. Cancel. And then we can save it and I'm going to save it as a PNG. So file, save as, click on the PNG and that's where it's going to be and click save, replace, okay. Next I'm going to open that up in Inkscape. I'm now in Inkscape and if you've never used Inkscape before can I suggest you go to the link where you will see some tutorials in our uh, channel on YouTube and it'll show you how to download Inkscape and use it. And what we need to do now is click on File and Import and I'm going to then import the shell P um, PNG that I saved. Embed it because that, it will remain there. Click OK. Now this is the beauty of using this software because we can reduce the size of the shell. 
and it's at the moment 1474 pixels wide by 871. I'm going to reduce that to 250 and because I've kept the padlock on the height will be in proportion and so we've got a small one like that. I need to move that page there, so we need to select the shell by clicking there and clicking on it, then going up to File, coming down to Properties, clicking Resize Page to Drawing, come off there and then you will see that it's around the pages around the drawing. And all you need to do now is click on File, Save As, and I'm going to give this an Inkscape shell. And it's defaulted to PDF, but if you don't have that default, you need to come down here and click on the drop down list and go through lots of uh, file endings, but you'll see the PDF there. Just check that that's right and click that's where it is where you want to save it and click save. The default is 90 dpi but of course as you know for printing it needs to be 300 so just change that to 300 and keep the raster filter effects uh, ticked and click OK and that will have saved it. I've opened a page document which is the Mac equivalent to a Word document because I want to show you how you can just have see what the edges look like on the image that you just saved. So I'm going to click on the image and drag it into the page. Now if you remember this was only about 200 pixels wide. So if I do this and click and drag several times you can see that the edge still remains crisp. Try this out, it may, may not work. Alternatively, it may be a very good alternative to um, having to draw out in either Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape to create your vector sh shapes. And that's it for now. Till the next time, bye bye.